All right, hopefully we are connecting. All right, hopefully we are connecting up right now. Let this uh redo itself. I apologize, guys. Hang on one second. We'll wait for everybody to jump in here. We had a small little hiccup. Uno momento. Hang on one second there. Okay, looks like it is trying to refresh itself. There we go. All right. Guys, let me know you can hear me okay and see me okay here in the chat. And I think the uh, live chat, well, there we go. It's moving along. We're back. Okay, good, 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 good. My uh, internet apparently went out. So I'm actually on my hotspot right now. So I'm going to be running some data through my uh, my mobile phone on 5G. Let me know you can hear me okay and see me okay, all right? I want to make sure everything is looking as good as it possibly can. I apologize that. For the issue there, if you guys are jumping on with the replay here right now, we just lost a chunk of what was already here. Uh, but I will try and put this together as much as I possibly can for you um, at the same time. So, yes, we're back right there. Everybody can hear me okay, see me okay. Uh, craziness. I wonder if it has something to do with the heat. I have no idea. Uh, but it looks like my internet is having some problems. So, it is what it is. Thank God for the mobile hotspot situation. I'm telling you, technology is a beautiful thing right now. Through the air, this is happening. This is kind of kind of wild. So, perfect connection. Good. Everything is good. Excellent. Okay, so you guys ready for this review? We might as well get this going over here. Let's see how long this one lasts. Uh, give me a thumbs up here in the chat. Let me know you're ready for this. Drew says, I'm too hot for YouTube. <laughs> It's great to be on here with you guys right now. Just in case, if we have to use this video instead of the uh, the first portion of this, should you guys wish to contribute to the channel, you guys can find a multitude of ways to do that down below in the description box, of course, as well as the first pinned comment. Um, if you decide to do any super chatting here, just keep in mind that YouTube does take a little bit from you. But of course, you've got PayPal down below as well in that first pinned comment. Thank you so much for your love and support and all of that good stuff there. Good. We are ready to go. Excellent. Okay. I am going to put you guys in standby. I'm going to grab the review. Come on back, and then uh, we will get it going. I'm excited to give these a shot. This is going to be a lot of fun, I think. It's going to be a first for me, and uh, for you guys, maybe too. We'll have to see. Jackie Hero Food Reviews, thanks so much for jumping on. James Morrison, we got everybody in here. Good, 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 good. I appreciate you guys jumping in. I'm very hopeful that this is the same uh, address for this video, but I have a feeling it's going to split this uh, stream in two because I had to restart. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, we'll just move on from this and we'll make the most of this here. So if you guys are catching this on the replay, thank you so much. Uh, even though you uh, you missed a good chunk of the chatting beforehand, um, this is still going to be uh, the meat of it going forward from this point, which is awesome. So you guys are here at the right time. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to put you on standby. I will be right back. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. are back all right let's see if you guys are still connected so far it looks like we are still connected can you guys see me okay and hear me okay i'm hopeful 
<laughs> the chat is not moving all of a sudden over here, so I don't know what is happening. There we go. All right, it is called caught up. Cool, 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 cool. Min Lee, what's your favorite menu from KFC? They're regular chicken, believe it or not. That's always good stuff. All right, we are back. We are back. All right, guys, let's get into this right now because it is 8.30 and I want to get this going. So, guys, I've always seen this on the menu at this particular spot that I used to. I usually do most of my reviews from, uh, believe it or not. It's actually one of the main places that I review from. Um, but I've never gotten them. So, naturally, I figured tonight would be kind of a fun night to check this out because I was kind of curious as to what exactly um, these were going to be like, naturally. So, without further ado, we're going to get into something from... Carl's Jr. as in flavor lit by fire. So I'm very curious to know this. In this case, this is going to be a flavor lit by fryer. And I am very excited to finally give this a go to scratch this one off the proverbial bucket list, I would say, of uh, fast food reviewing. <laughs> Considering I should probably have done this a while back just because it was kind of fun to see. Uh, great to see that I'm back on too, Tony. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And gosh darn it. Drew, I don't know how you know. I really don't know how you know. But yes, guys, we're going to be getting into some chicken stars. I don't know if you guys have seen this for Hardee's, if you've seen this for Carl's Jr. naturally. Um, but a six-piece order for $3.79. It's a little pricey for what it is. John Churn, ABC interview and career prep. How you doing? Great to see you. Yes, the chicken stars from Carl's. This is kind of one of their main things that they have on their menu right over there. So very curious to see how this is going to go here. Trav tries. What it do, Trav? I got to take a look at your view, review of the uh, Fanceroni pepperoni. I saw the thumbnail. I got to take a look at that. But very curious. Now, this is not the hand-breaded uh, chicken in store. This is basically just their main processed chicken. But the cool thing about these is, A, it's not a chip. B, it's not a cookie that we're reviewing. And C, my mom is going to be glad that I'm not actually doing this, uh, not actually doing any of those this week. But she's like, aren't you sick of cookies? Aren't you sick of chips? And I'm like, you know what? We're going to change things up here going forward. So you'll see something different, I think, uh, going forward. I think you guys will be able to pick up on a theme, I think, um, as it goes. But, but take a look at these. Let's just get into this here. Chicken stars. Basically, it is a processed piece of chicken in the shape of a star. A white meat chicken, apparently, formed with a nice little breaded outer coating on this right over here. Need some honey mustard for those bad boys. Oh, we've got something to go into. Trust me right there. You already know what it is. So just so you know, my all-time favorite we're going to be getting into is a little bit of some ranch action. And this is the name brand ranch, which was kind of cool, actually. So very, very cool. Nathan, what is going on? Could you uh, Frozen Fanta for your next review? Actually, Nathan, take a look. I've done a few of them already from Frozen Fanta goodness over there. I've got a lot of stuff in that playlist from Mickey D's. Take a look. And if I have to do anything there, I'm most likely going to be um, probably the Wild Cherry one at some point to fill the product, uh, the portfolio with that one, uh, so to speak. So let's give this a shot. I'm very, like I said, curious to see how these are going to be flavor-wise, how they're going to taste. Here we go. It's the Chicken Stars. My first time having this. From Carl's Jr. And these these have been around forever. Let's give this a go. Let's peep this out. It's a processed piece of chicken. It tastes like a, a Tyson crispy chicken tender that you can bake at home. And it's it's so contrasty because it's it's my lighting. And of course, the white meat chicken you really can't see. Kind there we go. Just a little bit. You can't see, really see there. It's it's a processed piece of chicken, guys. I mean, this is okay. It's not going to win any major awards. The saltiness, I think, is pretty perfect for it. It's crispy. It's not greasy, not oily. And I like the outer coating pretty nicely with this, guys, actually. And that light's blowing out. You can't really see, but... It looks like it's packed together, like this is not a natural piece of chicken, naturally. There is no star-shaped pieces of chicken that they cut off naturally for these things. Hmm. It's not bad, though. Not bad at all. Let's see. Annette loves the chicken stars. You know, $3.79, it's not horrible, but... They're not going to win any awards with it. <laughs> That's the only thing. Ed Keaton, what it do? Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. No worries about being late to the stream. We actually had a little small little hiccup um, earlier right now. So 
Uh, it is definitely uh, glad. I'm glad that you're here. We're running off of my mobile hotspot at the moment, and uh, I've got a whole bunch of gigs I can use for this. So definitely, uh, which we're good. Trav, R2D2, where are you? There you go. <laughs> good stuff over there. Okay, let's get into a little bit of ranch. It really is the epitome of a fast food fried piece of chicken, tender actually, I should say, or like a nugget. You know, that's not a chicken McNugget naturally here, but let's just dip this and give this a shot. A little bit of ranch action. Again, very contrasty with the white here. I can see why, Annette, you like these. I mean, they're fun. They're pretty cool, I guess. For like a kid's meal, maybe, which is kind of cool. I like them. I'll do a couple more with you guys. Do you guys mind if I do a couple more? Let me give this a go for you right there. They do look interesting, Jackie. They do. I mean, naturally, it's Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, you know, with the star logo. Uh, but... Texturally, I mean, it's got some nice mouthfeel to it. It's nice and hearty when I jump into it, you know, when I'm chewing it down. And of course, your sauce of choice for ranch. I like them. It's not bad. I'd probably get these as a snack. But $3.79 for five or six? Six of them. Maybe a little bit overpriced, just a little bit. But then again, here in Southern Cali, almost everything is. Uh, but these are not bad, guys. These are not bad. And of course, with that name brand Ranch, um, it's nice to see the Heinz name, and you can really taste the difference with this. Very thick, creamy. It's got the right amount of tang. Nice. So let's just finish this one out, because I've got another review coming up for you guys. And given the small hiccup with the internet connection, it should be uh, not too long from this point. So I like them. I've had these in the oven without the uh, flame on naturally, because they're in this box, just kind of keeping them warm. And they held their composure pretty well. So let me just show you another one here. Not bad. I'm glad I gave these a shot. I really am. This is my first time giving this one a go. And while you can definitely taste the difference of it not being hand breaded, um, it's more of a process like these are from a package and they just throw them in the fryer. These are kind of fun. I mean, you're paying for the convenience of having them made. The flavor is decent. It's fairly juicy for the white meat chicken itself. They seem to be packed pretty nicely. I mean, they're they're formed to be stars, right? So you expect it to be uh, all chicken all throughout with a decent amount of breading, which thankfully is not a crazy amount of coating. So I like that. So overall, mm, it's not quite an eight. It's not quite a nine. Um, I'm going to go maybe like, um, let's do 7.7 .7 on this. A couple of hockey sticks. It's not bad. I mean, it's not not great. It's not bad. You know, it's something that I would probably get again if it was on special for a little bit less. Of course, I would get these. Um, but I like them, guys. I think 77 is more than adequate. Um, like I said, these have been on the menu for a long time. You guys have probably seen them for such a long time on Carl's Jr.'s menu as well as Hardee's. Um, but I dig it. I love the fact that it comes in this packaging that says Forkless Feast over here. See the nine stars. You have the options there. Um, just so you guys know, I've tried to do this as this the regular combo. I was curious to see because I wasn't going to get it because of the fries. I didn't want to get the fries. But once you add a slow, like a 20 ounce drink and fries, it goes from $3.79 to like $10. I'm like, dude, really? Six of these, naturally, if I would have seen the size of these now, that would have been a ripoff for $10, even with fries uh, and a drink. So I like them. 77, a couple of hockey sticks for you. It's definitely something to check out. Uh, and I'm glad I can scratch this one off the bucket list, uh, so to speak. So definitely digging that. <laughs> Not bad. Adriana. Yes, I did review the Big Dill Cheeseburger. Take a look at the community tab on my channel. Typically, when a lot of these products come out, I usually repost um, a lot of my stuff there for stuff that I've already done. I feel no need to re-review the same exact things um, because I just think there's just too much out there to review personally. And unless something is being added to it or something to make it totally new again, um, and to my knowledge, that Big Dell cheeseburger only came out like two or three months ago. So the fact that they're bringing it back so quick um, makes you wonder why uh, they should just keep that one on the menu, I think. That's probably the, the least amount of lead time, excuse me, that I've seen uh, for something like that. Tiffany Shields, what's going on? Thanks so much for jumping on. Great to see you. Great to see you. Drew's Food Reviews, you never knew, you've never had those when you went to Carl's Jr. and got a kid's meal? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Never have, never have. Uh, let's see here. 
Nathan, Visery, do the KFC chicken tenders. I've done a whole bunch of KFC. I think that's something that I know that I've done in the past. If they've had them out in the last within the last nine years, roughly <laughs> at this point, um, take a look at my channel. Before you ask those questions, take a look. Just put in whatever you think it is, and then peep this out right after in the YouTube search bar. And chances are you'll see uh, some goodies there. You'll see. Uh, Larry, do you have a oh no Hawaiian barbecue? Yes, we have a few of those. I've had, I haven't had that in years, but I have actually had it though. Not bad. And yes, Ed Keaton, um, uh, talking about Anne Haitian, and Olivia Newton-John. I know it's a very rough week uh, for uh, for what's been happening there, but definitely um, not a good look uh, this past week. It feels like things are just really not not solid when it comes to what's happening with some people. Naturally, entertainment world, we lose people all the time, but naturally, some of the people who are timeless, and you think Olivia Newton-John and you know, Anne Hayes has been kind of out of the limelight for a while, but naturally everyone knows her, I think, also from many of her awesome film roles, as well as uh, with Ellen. It's really uh, sad to see uh, what's going on with all that there. So I, I understand uh, understand that for sure. Drew, because it's a big deal. That's why it's back. Yes, the big deal burger, you already know. <laughs> James Morrison, super nerdy question for you, but did you get the revised knee-flat versions of Tila and Evelyn, or do you have the original knees? I have the uh, original ones, but then I also have the 2000X version of Evil Lynn that actually has the corrected versions there. I, I didn't want to rebuy um, those same ones then uh, for that there. Um, so yes, definitely um, standard versions only there uh, for what it is there, which I think in the, if you think about in the long run, those are the first production runs of those figures. And I think that's kind of like, I like having like the first run of that, even though they may not look the best, so to speak. Um, the revised version naturally is a little bit more mass produced and obviously a little bit easier to find, I think, uh, for the most part. Tony Montana, Wendy's dinner just had last Thursday in which you had Baconator, cider fries, Barks vanilla root beer for a drink. Nice, 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 nice. You always eat like a king, my friend. I got to tell you, that's awesome. <laughs> Nathan, let's see, why'd you choose Stay Frosty as your slogan and peep this out for your channel name? Well, you may find out a little bit about that on the next stream because that's going to be an anniversary thing. So tune in for uh, a little bit more detail on that. But just so you know, Stay Frosty is actually from Corporal Hicks. That's Michael Bean, uh, his character from Aliens, where he says that. So I actually, that's one of my favorite things there. But as for the channel name, Goody, um, which I've talked about a whole bunch of times in the past, we'll definitely uh, talk more about that uh, for sure. On the next stream, <laughs> I've got something planned for that, actually. Uh, ben Nguyen, what item should they bring back on their menu for BK? You know, the Mac and Cheetos, I haven't. I would like to see those come back, believe it or not. I think they kind of perfected them with the Flaming Hot version of them. Uh, but I'd like to see a variation of that come on back again, uh, to be honest. Maybe something with the jalapeno, because they have those versions of the pastas. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool to see with something kind of mixed in that way, um, just to kind of spice it up just a bit, so to speak. Uh, let's see. Annette, did you know that Nashville Chick-fil-A location is testing out lemon pepper chicken wings? Yes, I read that online. Yes, 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 yes. Kind of crazy, huh? And you think that these places actually that serve those type of things would have chicken wings at some point. You know, I'm still rooting for the Mighty Wings to come back from Mickey D's. I don't know about you guys, but I am really, really looking forward to that um, at some point. I'm not saying I know it's coming back. I'm saying I'd love to see them again, um, honestly. Larry Nguyen, what is the next food review? You will find out on Sunday. This replay will be up, or what's left of this night. I'm going to have to see what happened with the first portion of it there. But uh, again, if you guys are catching this on the replay, uh, we lost about 20 minutes uh, of previous goodies of, you know, basically just banter and, and conversation and fun stuff to talk about. Um, but thankfully, we're on actually the connection now, and everything is good. And we've got the reviews locked, and we're about to get into the next review. I think that's a nice segue to get right into it, because we're coming up on a quarter to nine already. So, uh, guys, if you're ready for this right now, give me an ice cube here in the chat. Ice cube here in the chat if you're ready for this in the second review that we're going to be doing right now. Misty Smith, let's all get ready to wiggle. <laughs> yes, and that they, um, those places need to be serving chicken wings on the daily. I'm serious. There's, just no, there's very little competition for chicken wings, uh, unless it's like Wingstop, Buffalo Wild Wings, places like that. And uh, I'm not going to be streaming on my actual anniversary date on the 15th because that's a Monday and I want to keep it uh, succinct for Friday. But I figure by the end of this next week, we'll have a lot to talk about with some things. So um, tune in for that. That would be uh, that's the plan for that for sure. All right. So we've got some snowflakes. We've got ice cubes. Yes, Drew, I read that with breakfast bagels. I haven't seen that at all over here. Um, believe me, I've been looking into that, too. No, no luck on that. We'll have to see what happens. 
All right. Well, the reason that I'm asking you guys to put up some ice cubes is because what I have right now is literally on ice because it's so hot in my apartment <laughs> that I needed to make sure that I'm keeping things as cool and cold as possible because I learned my lesson the last time that I did something like this. And this is something that I saw when I was doing something else. And when I saw this, I'm like, I have to pick this up. So guys, without further ado, bam, let's get into this right now with a little bit of Kit Kat blueberry muffin action. Um, when I saw this, I'm like, I need to get this, throw this in the fridge and uh, let it marinate for like a week or so. And uh, we'll keep it on ice so it stays as crispy as possible. But um, I had to give this a go because this just looked really, really awesome. I mean, the packaging alone, uh, naturally there, Kit Kat Blueberry Muffin King Size. And I've never tried this before. And uh, these look really, really awesome. Michael Domer is jumping off right over here with those are so good. We'll have to see. This looks really, really tasty. This was actually at Walmart, um, along with a few other things. Um, we'll see those as time goes by. Um, but it's really pretty crazy. I mean, they had literally like chunks of like supply of these on like on each of the turnstiles going out of the place like they were giving these away or something it was crazy so let's see how this is and i will give this a go and again it's cold so it should stay and keep its composure pretty nicely here so i'm going to open this up as cleanly as i could and wow i actually did that pretty well oh yeah these are nicely cold look at that Take a look at that action. Wow, and I'm smelling blueberry ridiculous right out the gate. It's not even really in front of my face. I could smell it from here. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, this feels so nice right now. They're cold. Guys, look at that Kit Kat action right there. All right, let's break. Nice, we'll keep the composure. Break another one to you. Carefully, there we go. One down, and they're holding its own. They're not melting in my hands, so to speak. Take a look at that. It looks like it's got like an off creamy, chocolatey white type of chocolate on this here. They look really, really nice. Let's give this a shot, guys. The blueberry muffin Kit Kats. Let's give this a go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This tastes like pie crust to me with blueberry mixed in with it. That wafer is very, very nice right there, guys. I know it's all contrasty. It's being blown out because of the light, but wow. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I did. Wow. Oh my God. That's crazy. That is crazy. What is the um, info on this? Three fingers is 160 calories. That's not bad because I'm going to have at least two right now of these. It's got like a really interesting like mixture of white and chocolate in terms of just the way it looks. And I don't want to say it's blue, but it's got like a tint. But guys, it's the flavor is spot on. Mmm. That is crazy good. That is crazy good. Oh, man. I mean, I don't have Kit Kats too often outside of Halloween time, really. But this is done very nice. Nathan, my favorite freeze is the pineapple whip. That's not pineapple whip. Mm, probably the mango, mango whip, because it's close to that. Guys, that is really nice. And I know you can kind of not really, there we go. Standard goodness right over there in terms of the wafer action. But that blueberry, I'm getting mostly from this chocolate. This is really tasty. I'm highly impressed with this. $1.87 for a king size bar like that. And that is really good. It is really good. Wow. Look at this action. Nice and cold, the only way to do it. Definitely every time I get a Kit Kat, it's going to go in the fridge. Really, really solid. And yes, Tony, I think we'll give it the 9.5 out of 10 by far. Which, by the way, we didn't even rate the chicken finger version. Oh, yeah, we did. It was 77 for that one, too. My mind's all over the place right now. I'll definitely go a 9.5 on this. This is a, an awesome flavor. 
of Kit Kat. I am totally digging that right there. Crispy wafers and a blueberry muffin flavored cream. That's where it's coming from. So it has a little bit of a tint of that, but man, that quality is banging on this. This is really, really tasty. Easy recommendation to give this one a go. And like I said, Walmart, they had so many of these on each of the aisles. Um, they had a display going with a bunch of other things, and I saw this mixed with it. But wow, really, really tasty uh, for this by far. I mean, it's not the perfect thing. I mean, actually, it's got a little bit more of the artificial type of blueberry. But for what it is, I'm getting the vibe. And the fact that when you see the muffin right there, you think of that cake, you think of that overall flavor, you're getting the essence of that um, in a very nice creamy situation as, as you start to eat it and chew it down. It's actually really tasty uh, for this. So I am totally digging this. Kit Kat Blueberry Muffin, a banging variant uh, of Kit Kat. This is really, really good. So I'm going to keep this one on ice. I actually have a lot of these frozen things in the freezer that they're sitting on. And I have it sandwiched in between that. But very, very tasty on that. I got to tell you, very, very tasty. All right, good times with that one there. Let's see, what else do we have here? Favorite item from Carlos Jr.? Probably the Western Bacon Cheeseburger. That's a classic one right over there, for sure. Uh, Sonic Jet, what it do? Love Kit Kats plus the Reese's Pieces. Absolutely, some classics right there. Jessica Smith, I know I'm late to the party. This may have been discussed way earlier. I just wanted to say I enjoyed your last Little Caesars review. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, and I appreciate you digging the fact that, that yeah, you enjoyed it. Thank you. I really had a lot of fun putting that one together. A lot of fun stuff on that that Little Caesars goodness. Ed Keaton, I'll definitely have to try the Blueberry Muffin Kit Kats. Give it a show, Ed. Uh, give it a go. It's really, really tasty. I got to tell you. Tony, let's see here. Oh, no super chat donation jumping in. Bus, one more for the road. Bus, thank you, man. I appreciate you. I uh, apologize for what happened earlier there. Obviously, everyone will be accounted for uh, down below in the description comments there. Um, and actually, all of you guys are down below here as well. But one more for the road. I appreciate you greatly. Hope you're doing okay, Bus, as always. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, have you heard that the Choco Taco was discontinued? But I just read that they're thinking about bringing it back, maybe. So we'll have to see. I think it's a completely a, a marketing thing, if you ask me. And there we go, Bus, jumping in there again uh, for helping to contribute to the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bus, always. Uh, Tony, did you know that Sonic is actually selling churros? Yes, I did, actually, right now. I have no desire to check those out, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, no desire to swing on over for that. It just like I, there's just I, when you see what you're gonna be seeing and then within this next week or so, week and a half, um, trust me, I have no time <laughs> to get over there to give that a go. Um, it didn't look like anything special to be honest when I saw that. Um, so I don't want to say I'll definitely not give it a try because you know usually if uh, I find a, a break in between stuff, um, but it just seems so basic and so plain that that I'm like I, I can channel my energies towards you know some other things i think that would be visually um a little bit better i think um so you'll see i'll let you guys be the judge of that uh, when we talk about it uh, on the next stream adriana yes kfc i do enjoy for sure uh regular western for me nathan i mean spicy is cool i had a lot of fun checking that out when i reviewed it but i like the um the regular versions of those things Lord Darkseid, never heard of Choco Taco. Most people, they forgot all about it, but once uh, something's going to be taken away, everyone loses their mind, and then all of a sudden, don't don't go, don't go. They could have easily killed that off without making an announcement, and I don't think anyone would have said anything, to be honest. But it's marketing. It's marketing. So, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. Drew, yes, I don't blame you. Sonic is no bueno situation for me. They have sometimes some okay stuff, Drew. I mean, you know me. It's a love-hate relationship with Sonic. Um, with their stuff. So yeah, um, I'm not against reviewing for them, although I go back and forth sometimes depending upon the experience. Uh, but you know, you know how you know how it is. Tony Show, last Sonic Burger was so dry, I didn't go back. Yeah, sometimes those, those things do happen there. Buzz, admit it, you love Subway. <laughs> the trains, absolutely, they're fun, especially here in LA. <laughs> yep, good times, guys. Good times with that. Uh, let's see here. Sonic, McDonald's is such a rip up. They always tease us with the classic menu items that we want again, but they never bring back the Arch Deluxe, McDLT, and McRib all the time. Well, that's a special thing every year, typically, every other couple of years, depending upon where you live. Salad shakers. Yeah, they, they've been hanging on their classic items for the last couple of years now. They used to have those um, flavors from around the world. They were doing some different things at one point, and maybe we'll see that. 
Uh, we'll have to see. Nathan, yes, I had the spicy Western fries, the Chris Cuts, I believe I tried with that. I'm not bad, naturally, but when it comes to the burgers, that Western is definitely bomb. Absolutely bomb. Uh, Jessica Smith just out. Oh, my chat just moved. Hang on one second here. I hate when it does this. There we go. Just out of curiosity, what do you do with the food that you don't like or you can't finish yourself because it's too much? You know, I usually mine the protein out of it. Um, typically, I don't get combos no, nine times out of ten because I'm just reviewing the main item. Um, so I have kind of a little bit of a strict, um, you know, watching caloric intake and calories and certain things as well, too. So um, I try and just take the protein mostly out of the stuff there um, and usually just throw away the rest, uh, typically. So I try and use it for other things. Yes, Sonic is hit or miss in it. Always, you know. Sonic is the restaurant named after you. You must be rolling in it right now. I got to tell you, Sonic Jet. <laughs> Misty Smith, hot potato, hot potato. It is going down. Misty, I appreciate you entertaining the folks in the background with all that good stuff over there. You already know what it is. Good times, good times. Well, guys, let me uh, apologize first and foremost for what the hiccup earlier on in the chat, in the stream, I should say, right over here. So... Um, sorry about that, naturally, but fortunately, all the main content of all the stuff you wanted to see that you're going to see based upon the thumbnail, naturally, is here in the video that you're watching uh, right now. You're going to find this originally, uh, the replay available at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow on the 13th. Friday uh, is, well, it's Friday the 12th, actually, so Saturday the 13th. Uh, not an ominous day by any means, but 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Then you'll have a new review on Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and then the good times will begin to roll for you as the week begins. So it'll be uh, it'll be fun, I have a feeling. Uh, like I said, it's I'm very tired. I've been doing a lot of stuff, putting things together. So it should be a lot of fun for you guys, as always. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely hit that red subscribe button down below. Uh, and of course, definitely do that there. New content every single week, all that good stuff. Um, and again, let me thank all of you guys for jumping on the stream here right now. As I always say, you guys have choices when it comes to uh, content here on YouTube, naturally. And I appreciate you making my channel one of your stops. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, and to all the super chatters, all the people who may have donated on PayPal, which I won't know till after the stream, naturally, uh, I'll be able to uh, take a look at that. And again, thank you so much for your love and support and generosity and for everyone watching the content, interacting with it, uh, hating on it even, should you uh, as well, Subtigral, if you're watching right now. Uh, and to everyone here, just being a part of the community and being a voice uh, to let me do what I do here, which is a lot of fun. I have so much fun doing it. So uh, I appreciate you guys again. Shout outs to everybody here in the chat. Far too many names to say goodbye to right now. And yes, actually, I'm seeing this real quick bus. At least it wasn't an earthquake knock on wood uh, that interrupted the stream, which is that's a legendary video <laughs> at this point. Uh, that earthquake stream that I have in the live stream replays playlist. Oh, my God, I got to tell you. Uh, yes, Sonic, time goes by. How about a stream every night? <laughs> How would I get any work done if I was doing that? Believe me. Uh, if I had everybody supporting on Patreon and doing all that stuff, maybe I could because that would be kind of cool if everyone subscribed there. Like, if imagine if, if every person did like a dollar a month, um, that would be insane, right? <laughs> I'd be able to do so much uh, with that. But guys, thank you so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. To everybody here in the chat, thank you for doing what you do. Uh, Jackie Hero Food Reviews, Drew's Food Reviews, Trav Tries, all the other major content creators who may not have made themselves known here in the chat, but may be creeping in the background. I appreciate you definitely, especially you guys, uh, for sure, because you're contributing to the community in the most best positive way possible. Uh, and I greatly appreciate you guys doing what you do. Uh, to everybody here in the chat, enjoy the content that you'll see this coming week. Uh, the fruits of the labor, so to speak, and all the fun stuff that will be coming. And then we'll have fun on the next stream next Friday for the uh, ninth anniversary celebration stream, which would be kind of fun to do. Uh, shout outs to Annette Cervantes again for definitely uh, getting better and continuing to get better from your procedure. I'm glad to hear that you're doing okay uh, and that you guys are all doing the best you possibly can. Whatever you do, do it safely. Do it 100% to the best of your ability. Whatever it is this weekend, um, just have fun. Stay cool. And with that, this is ENK closing out the live stream officially for Friday, August 12th. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Good times, everyone. Thanks so much. I'll be here in the chat for about a minute or so after the stream ends. Uh, and then um, I'll try and answer as many questions or comments or anything that I see here uh, before it times out. But guys, again, thank you so much for doing what you do. I know my boy Jay Nepper is not on here right now, but... If he's catching us on the replay, most likely with the uh, his schedule as well. I appreciate you uh, watching, and to all of you guys, uh, have an amazing weekend. 
Again, replay 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, Saturday the 13th. New review on Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, we will go from there. So Michael Domer, stay frosty as well to everybody here. Ben Nguyen, Min Lee, Sonic Jet, Lord Darkside, Lesser, uh, James, 176, Misty Smith, Tony Montana, Annette Cervantes. Let's see, I'm going to go up the line here. Drew's Food Reviews a little bit. Buzz, 7332, Ben Nguyen, Dom's World, Tony Schultz, thanks so much. Adriana, thank you, thank you, thank you. Who else? Last one here. James, 176. Everyone is jumping around. My, my chat is moving here. Ed Keaton, Sonic Jet. All right, we got everybody in here. Trying to get everybody in as much as I can here. So, guys, take care. Thank you so much for tonight. A lot of fun checking out the uh, Carl's Jr. stars as well as the uh, Blueberry Muffin Kit Kat. It was a lot of fun to check that out. And uh, I will catch you guys. See Lo Bong. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. I'll be here in the chat. We will talk in a few. And with that, peace. I'm out.